Okay. So how do you get a data science job? I mean, how do you get a data engineer job? It's always the same. Um, first, first of all, you need to set your personal goals. What, what actually do you want to achieve? Where do you see yourself in the, in the coming years? What, what do you want to do? Maybe some companies. What kind of companies do you want to work for? Where do you want to live? How do you want to live? And so on. This is all setting some, you need to have some, some goals. Where do you, where, yeah, do you want to go abroad or something? Uh, then you need to focus on this or, or set your goals accordingly. And then what you do is you research the jobs. So research job postings, or what I would do, is research shop postings go on the on the job search platforms and find out what jobs are there who is posting jobs for instance in data engineering and what uh, what is the content of these of these positions what are they doing um, what tools do they need what are the qualifications they need and basically you mark this down you, you write this down and you figure out what kind of a profile do you need or, or, or knowledge do you need for this. And then what you do is you need to start a simple project. Start, start looking into these tools and technologies that you have seen in the job postings. And there are uh, some, I'm guessing some obvious things, some, some, some like, like Spark and so on. But that... that mm, Let's not get into the tools. Generally, look at it and figure it out. What is what? What's needed most? And then you start this, the simple project. And here comes the here comes the problem. Um, the people start uh, start saying, "Okay, um, how do I start a project? How do I start a simple project? What is a a simple project?" And if you remember, uh, and if you haven't looked at it, I have the cookbook, and in my uh, data engineering cookbook, you basically can find how is a how is a data science or data engine data science platform usually built, what tools are there used, and you also find um, case studies how people are doing this. And I started a small project myself, which I haven't finished. I need to finish this. I know, and I'm I'm. The cookbook basically right now is a is a helper or or should be a helper tool and will be a helper tool for you to start and do a simple project. Um, I'm working on this right now to actually remodel it to to be even more of a helper for doing a project, doing a data engineering project. So uh, what I need to add is I need to add um, data sources where you can get data. There are a lot of open data sources. Uh, I need to add this stuff, and then I need to basically create a or a helper or a process for you how to how to do this. And so this is this is where this is going. Then you start a project, and then what you do is you document your work. This is of utmost importance. You need to document what you are doing. Because uh, you're not getting a certificate, you are getting experience, and you need to document this experience. So you need to you need to learn uh, how to document stuff on GitHub. You need to learn how to do blog posts, how to do videos, and this is the stuff that I want to help you with. Um, the project stuff the, with the coaching, where I'm coming, where where this all leads basically help you to do all this and to, to advise you that you go in the right direction and don't get stuck and connect you with people um, who are interested in the same thing. So once you know how to document and once you start documenting the whole thing, then you're going to start and uh, expand your project. Go further, go deeper. If you if you're, uh, think about the cookbook, in the cookbook, um, you start with, maybe I can bring this up quickly. Let me just quickly bring it up. The 
cookbook because I have the um in the introduction here it is again um <clears throat> basically the, with a blueprint that I have created um you start simple like a, with a processing framework and put in um a a a simple file and then uh, store it somewhere in a SQL database and then yeah, visualize it something so uh, and then you what you're going to do you're starting with with one with one part you're starting with a batch process here for instance and with one tool and then you're building on top of this all in these categories for the connections you start uh, creating APIs in the buffer size uh, buffer you're working with message queues and so on and so on so you can stack stack up on these um on these uh, uh, uh blocks and make this whole thing make this whole thing uh, work and bigger for the whole yeah your whole project and learn more and document more so this is the this is the main idea I want to make this this make the cookbook that it guides you through the whole thing and helps and gives you ideas. Um, so if you don't want to do the training, uh, you just uh, you just need help doing the whole thing. Um, the cookbook can already help you a lot in this. So you expand your project and then you document some more, and then what you do is you're going to build a a uh, you you build your your uh, CV and your job application around this new knowledge and basically target the target the companies uh the the job descript the the, uh, the job descriptions no the job offers you target them with your yeah with your profile with your new knowledge you know and this this leads to the, this helps you a lot with the whole um with the getting an edge in the in the whole market um yeah once you're this uh, apply to similar jobs that you have researched because they need this stuff that you have uh, learned yourself and then hopefully get hired and you're a data science professional boom and then starts the journey then you're going to start and learn a lot of stuff <laughs> and learn on the job and uh yeah see where this is going to lead so very very interesting and i think it's very clear and with the coaching again i want to help you on this journey this is the the idea um this is where, where i'm going with the with the coaching you know so um how is this going to uh, or what have i created here what i have created is where's the website again here it is yeah by the way yeah, does that does that make sense guys does that make sense um what do you think about this? Have you or have you already experienced something like this, where you, for instance, you get an internship because you have documented some stuff? Um, have you experienced something like this already? That that would be very interesting to know and to learn, um, because I think this is the this is the main thing <clears throat> that that will help you. Okay, so um, 